Hey guys, uh, welcome back to game five between CJ Entis and Istro. It's 2 2 going into game five. Um, CJ can thank Sky High and um, Istro can thank Ahiva. They both won two games to get us to where we are today uh, or right now. We do have Sky High versus Action. Action, a new face to the Pro League scene. Uh, best matchup is ZVT. Um, so that could be a reason why he is here. Um, he looks pretty. I don't know, he looks pouty. <laughs> Action's pouty. Uh, but we do have him spawning in the bottom, about at the 5 o'clock position. And then we have the 2-0 and Sky High at the 11 o'clock position. A good way to start out your Pro League season. Um, if he could go, you know, two more, he might be able to win and go undefeated for the first day and be forever known. I'm just kidding. But, um... We do have, this is actually going to be played on Roadrunner, a new map as, as well. Um, actually, it has like two maps on it, uh, two games on it total. I really don't know this map. All I know is it's a three-position three, three um, position map. There are three starting positions here, and it looks like from the start that Action is scouting in the wrong position, and it looks like uh, Sky High is lining up to wall himself in and he's going to put a barracks there wall himself in and probably uh secure his expansion relatively soon is he going to go mech is this a map for mech uh we're gonna have to wait and see um i am not sure it looked like there were some ridges i mean mechs you know it's kind of a destination um you know destination use mech and this kind of looks like destination so maybe you go mech on this uh we'll have to see uh what terran players choose to utilize on this map uh whether it be bio or mech but the overlord is arriving at the wrong position it's probably going to be rerouted or he might send out a drone to scout we are seeing looks like a 12 hatch here from our zerg action as i was saying i think he's like 55 percent against terran and then uh sky high was like 50 percent against zerg if i remember correctly we do have the gas coming down as well uh so we are going to be seeing more mech it looks like there are three artifacts in the middle a lot of artifacts um i'm gonna have to learn about this map this map looks pretty interesting so far a lot of bridges a lot of artifacts it almost looks like a remaking of destination with an added position in the right um in ways and uh, those girls look very into the game, uh, or they must be looking at this cute commentator. Um, that was me. Uh, but uh, we do have all these more shy Koreans, as of every game uh, that StarCraft has ever seen, they're shy Koreans. Uh, but we do have the drone coming out. Looks like it's going to be heading to the, looking for cheese, looking, making sure there's no forward racks. It's going to run right past the SCV, right, run right into the wall in. Uh, will we be able to get it in? Um, I'm thinking, I won't, I won't know quite yet. Uh, that girl must have not realized that the camera's on her. No, there is a complete wall with the Marine. Uh, so he really has no idea what's coming for him. He's going to have to suicide, probably suicide the overlord in there to get the scout uh, barracks comes up and he missed his chance to get in <laughs> that poor poor drone uh, factory coming up as well uh, what will we see from both players mech is you know sky high is probably prominent option here definitely is dominant option and uh, he he just looks pouty doesn't he I don't know he just looks pouty with bed hair Pouty bed-haired action or something. Uh, that'll be his nickname, but he just looks pouty. Uh, this drone desperately trying to get in, not going to be able to do it. Uh, we do have the second, we do have his natural up and running with the SCV coming in here. Uh, Sky High is going to try to keep this alive as long as possible. Tekken the layer already here. Um, probably going to see a two-hatch muta build out, coming out of him. We do have the machine shop going up as well. And what will we see from Sky High? We will see uh, fact into, ex, into an expansion. Um, where he will go from here is really the question but because it, if it is two hatch versus two hatch we know it's two hatch something um i'm assuming two hatch muta just because that is a very you know very strong option against the zerg uh what will sky high how will his defenses be i uh, doing a nice job of keeping this scv so or keep, keeping a doing a nice job of keeping this scv up and i just realized i made a mistake uh a nice build against terran i met before i was correcting myself like two sentences back uh but we do have one link coming out just going to try to realize uh when his opponent is pushing out we do have the layer up and it looks like sky high is going to see this completely uh pretty soon here he's gonna have to reveal his tech and there it is we do have the spire popping up and sky high will take one more look around he's going to see it observer sees it clicking on it and we are going to see a two hatch muta versus a fast expansion build here um, after the fact from Sky High. Uh, so really, Sky High is going to be put on the defensive. How good is Action's Muta Micro going to be? I haven't seen him in the past. I know he's been playing in the Pro League. Uh, sending out a couple more Lings out. Um, those could be used in a little bit with the Mutas. But it looks like this Vulture going to come out 
pick up the one ling and now he knows that vultures are on in play uh, more links coming out he's got to be careful of those he doesn't want to lose all of them um and sky high's got to be ready to micro that vulture because pressure is coming uh with these links they're going to sit outside probably avoid a scout he has two vultures out now so now really action's not gonna be able to do anything and it looks like these vultures are headed towards his base he better get the sunken colony up it looks like he is so far that'll stop a run by but could he wrap around the bottom left and shoot the natural we just don't know yet we do see the same build um that we saw uh, Sky High do again against the Zerg and he's actually putting these on the ramp uh, these vultures have caught him a little off guard his sunken colony is going to be a little late and he knows that um, where will he go with these things will he try to run by it looks like the sunken colony is not even up yet he's going to be able to camp right behind this and already this is going to give Sky High a nice little edge here um, sunken colony not in position mining is going to be a tough thing to do because those vultures are just going to kick your ass uh, just going to be able to shoot those drones um, and really Mining the gas so far, but this is definitely going to slow down uh, Action. Sky High playing this brilliantly so far. Um, Action just wasn't able to get that scout in, uh, therefore not being able to really know what Sky High was going for. And uh, it caught him off surprise with the same build that his teammate went down to, uh, which is actually kind of funny. Now with the Mutas popping out, he's going to run away with those vultures. Uh, definitely worth it. Going to be able to get the scouting information. It looks like we do have the third hatchery going down uh, for... Um, for action in the left position and we have turrets going up with the ebay he should be well he should be properly defended i'm thinking um is he going to get the he with mutas on the way though he doesn't have too much defense at the moment but he had he had to know they were coming um that was no surprise the ebay is up turrets should be warping in not warping in excuse me i'm going to finally get that right uh building in transforming in rising from the ground um but we do have some goliaths out with the turret but he is going to be able to camp right behind that position and get a couple kills uh this actually looks like a decent map uh for mutalist just because you can 